Hi guys, today I will show you how to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. So we have to know what an irrational number is and what a rational number is. So to start with, the best way to prove this is by contradiction, where we're going to assume the opposite but disapprove the opposite, hence we're going to conclude that it is irrational. So root 2, so we're going to make an assumption, assume, assume that root 2 is rational. So if it is rational, this simply means that it can be expressed in its lowest uh, fraction and we can have it as root 2 is equals to a over b, where a and b are the lowest terms. So where a and b are in the lowest terms. We know that a and b are representing integers in this case. So first thing we do is we say that root 2 is equals to a over b. Then what we want to do is we're going to introduce a square to both sides. So that if we square root 2, we're going to get a 2. If we square a, we have a squared. If we square b, we have b squared like that. Then we can cross multiply. So cross multiplying will simply give us b. 2b squared is equals to a squared. Now, what does this uh, imply? This simply implies that a is an even number. So a, let's start with a squared. a squared is even. Now, since a squared is even, uh, because uh, we're multiplying b squared by 2, meaning that a is even, this means that a as well, if a squared is even, then a is equally even as well, like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this statement on hold. So now that we know that uh, a is even, the next thing we're going to do is, uh, here where there's a, we can assume anything as long as it's an even number. So let's bring in a letter k. So we can say 2b squared is equals to maybe 2k. We're replacing a with an even number 2k, where k is also a member of um, even numbers or just an integer. So we can say where k is a member of integers. Uh, let's restrict it to positive integers in this case. So if that's the case, then this statement will become 2b squared is equals to 4k squared, like that. Then from there, we can decide to divide both sides by 2. Hence, let me bring it here. Hence, we'll have, dividing both sides by 2, we'll have b squared is equals to 2k squared. Now, what does this mean? Since we have k, an integer, multiplying with 2, this simply means that b is equally even. So, b squared is even, then b is also even. Now, this is where the part for contradicting comes in. So I want you to understand this. Since we have proven that A is even and B is even, it contradicts the fact that uh, A and B and its are, are in their lowest terms. So in, in a practical example, think of A and B as any two integers that are positive, that are even, sorry. So for example, let's get a 4 as our A and a 6 as our B. So this simply means that if B and A are even, then this is not their lowest form. Their lowest form, of course, would be 2 over 3. Another set of uh, even numbers, for example, let's get 10 and 14. This is not in its lowest terms. Another set, 2 over 6. Again, it's not even in its lowest terms. So I hope you get the idea. So since A and B are even numbers, it means that from the assumption, these two are not in their lowest terms. So we can say, by contradiction, by contradiction, since... A and B, okay, let's do this. Since A and B are even numbers, then root 2 is not rational. So it's not rational. So what happens if it's not rational? Therefore, the root of 2 is the opposite, which is irrational. So that's how we prove by contradiction. 
So thank you very much. In case you have a question, please feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. Have a good day.